Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, May 15th. I'm James Spann. A cool breeze. We're going to be close to record temperature levels really today and tomorrow morning. And not much rain for a while. Let's go in there and take a look. There's the big trough. Full latitude moving in here, and that's pushing the rain out. The rain exited the state after midnight. That was the way the radar looked at 5 o'clock this morning. In fact, the rain has ended now at Atlanta. And uh, that rain stays east of the state today. But with a big upper trough, we'll ro watch the little uh, spokes rotating through that. And uh, folks near the Tennessee Valley up in extreme north Alabama could see a little light rain at times over the weekend. But down this way, I think we'll be mostly dry. Hey, look at the 40s up on the board. Upper 40s at daybreak for Haleyville and Cullman, Birmingham at 52. We are expecting a high only in the middle 60s today. You know, our record low maximum today is 62 set way back in 1926. I think we'll get past that, but just barely. And around the nation, it's rather chilly for many people. About the only warmth is over the southwest and the southeast. And we're going to stay in that cool air for several days. Up north, frost and freeze warnings for parts of the high plains. And east of Alabama, we have flash flood watches from north Florida up into western Pennsylvania and western New York, where the rain keeps coming today. And also east of the state, there's a slight chance of severe weather. That's the standard risk for parts of the Carolinas and Virginia. And the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Notice that uh, bit of rain showing up near the Tennessee Valley around Muscle Shoals and Huntsville. That's where they could see some rain this weekend. But again, where we are down here, the chance of rain will be relatively small for the next seven days. Check the GFS. This is valid at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is the OZ run. And that's the look at 500 millibars. And that is a big old trough coming in. Down below that, rain continues east of the state. Rain can be heavy at times. But for us, the day will be breezy and cool. Now, I'll say this. The GFS is showing a high of only 63. If the clouds hang tough all day, uh, you know, we might make a run at that record low maximum today of 62. But if the sun breaks out, we'll do mid-60s. Whatever, it's way below the average high. We should be in the low to mid-80s this time of the year. Tomorrow, look at the 540 line all the way down to Nashville. We'll expect to start the day in the mid-40s. And again, that's flirting with record low temperature levels for tomorrow. The record low tomorrow is 43. The GFS is printing 46 for Birmingham. And again, for us, the sky should be partly sunny. The high around 70. This is Saturday as the weekend begins, and note that rain showing up over Tennessee. And uh, for us, we'll call it uh, partly sunny with mid-70s. And again, for our part of the state, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, we think the day will be dry. And pretty much the same deal on Sunday, but it's going to be close. If you live in Cullman or Gadsden, uh, you might wind up with some light rain. Uh, for that part of the state, cloudy with a chance of light rain and still very cool. For Interstate 20 South, the day should be dry. And by the way, if you're beachbound, bound just gorgeous weather Friday through all of next week with sunny days and fair nights. A great weekend for the Hangout Music Festival down at Gulf Shores. Here's Monday. We start to warm up. Monday, the highs uh, go back into the uh, low 80s, bright and sunny. There's Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Still in great shape. Highs up in the middle 80s. And this is Thursday a week from today, and you can see the deal. We have an upper high that's anchored near Mobile, a big trough in the western states. And down below that, again, we're just as dry as could be. Highs mid to upper 80s as the uh, thickness values keep coming up. So basically all of next week, at least through Thursday, looks rain-free and warm. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 30th. And that looks like May 30th. The westerlies are up near the Canadian border. Down here, kind of a soupy air mass, maybe a few scattered hit and miss showers and storms about. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.